Ya khwati, this is Jahannam. Jahannam has been described by the Prophet ﷺ in many, many hadith of Rasulullah which are authentic. Let me tell you some of the descriptions of Jahannam that are authentic. Number one, we know that Jahannam has been lit for 70 years until it, it turned white, then 70 years until it turned red, and then for another 70 years until Jahannam uh, turned black, meaning it was kindled. So the, what that basically means is that uh, the angels, the 19 angels of Jahannam, they kept on blowing into it, blowing into it, blowing into it, and throwing into it uh, bodies uh, of, of shateen and ins and throwing into it rocks and whatever else into it to kindle the fire until the fire has been killed and kindled for 210 years. How long does it take to start a fire? Have you ever started a fire in the woods? It only takes 10 minutes, right? Sometimes if you get a light and then you blow a little bit and then it comes up. Sometimes when you start a barbecue, has anyone started a barbecue? It takes only 15 minutes sometimes. You, you kindle it, a little bit of air, alhamdulillah. Imagine something that has been kindled for 200 and 10 years. 210 years of fire has been building, building, building. That is what, what has happened to Jahannam. Number two, Jahannam is huge. The Prophet ﷺ told us that Jahannam has 70,000 rings. On each of the rings is a rope. On each of the rope is 70,000 angels. Huge, massive. We also know that Jahannam is insatiable. What does that mean? Insatiable means it, it, every time you throw people, uh, 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 throw people in there, the more hungry it gets. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Qaf, He said, Yawma naqulu li Jahannam. On that day when we will call out to Jahannam, Halim talati, are you full? And Jahannam will say, Hal mim mazi, is there any more? Okay, is there any more? And the tafsir mentions that Jahannam will ask for more and more. And he will not stop doing it until Allah puts his foot on Jahannam and squashes Jahannam on that point Jahannam will say bas bas that's it that's it Ya Rab I'm full I'm full that's on the authentic hadith of Rasulullah the third description of Jahannam is that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that it is 70 times hotter than the hottest fire in this dunya okay 70 times hotter than the hottest fire what is the hottest fire that we know of in existence millions millions of Kelvin millions of Kelvin which is the uh, the, the temperature of the sun. So it is hotter than even the temperature of the sun, 70 times. And in the Arabic language, when you say 70, it means countless. Okay, that's why you know, Allah says to Rasulullah, even if you were to ask 70 times to forgive the non-Muslims, I would still not forgive them. That does not mean that only ask 71 times Allah will forgive, no. It means 70 means, in the word 70 in Arabic means countless. Right. Also, your equity. Uh, the next description of Jahannam that has been given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that it is so huge and that the fire is so immense that it throws out sparks and the sparks are so great that they are like castles. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, He says, Innaha tarmi bi shararin kal qasr ka'annaha jimalatun sufur. It throws out sparks and each spark is so huge. Innaha tarmi bi sharara. Verily it throws out sharara which is sparks. Qasr. They are as huge as huge palaces. If you were to see them as the sparks come out, have you seen the sparks when they weld and the sparks come out? Well, imagine that Jahannam has sparks that are coming out continuously. And when the sparks come out, remember how the sparks come and they just sometimes fall on the ground like that? Have you seen that? So the Quran says when it comes out, it is like a huge castle. And as it walks off or falls on the ground and, and goes off, it is as if they are red camels, a group of red camels when they are flowing out or they are running away. Can you imagine a pack of red camels? This is how huge the sparks are. <coughs> also, uh, the next description of Jahannam that has been given uh, uh, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that people will enter Jahannam and have clothes made of fire made from them, clothes of fire. So as for the one who has disbelieved, then clothes made of fire will be, will be cut out for him. So we understand that, that the Jahannam has clothes made of fire that people will wear. Clothes made of fire. The next description given by the scholars, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting what number I'm at. Uh, the next description that the Quran says is that Jahannam has a special uh, food that comes from a special tree. 
and that tree is called zakkum inna shajarata zakkum mit'amul athim kal muhli yashwi al butun ka ghalli al hamim in surah safat verily the tree of zakkum the tree of zakkum it has a fruit that resembles the heads of shaitan so can you imagine the head of a shaitan and if you were to bite into it then it scalds meaning it's acidic it burns the inside so this is the food of the people of jahannam the shajara al zakkum and it is a shajara that grows from the fire itself right the next description of jahannam that the prophet sallallahu gave was that the people who will enter jahannam will be made very very big and large they'll be made massive until the Prophet ﷺ said that the molar teeth of the non-Muslim in Jahannam will be the size of the Mount of Uhud. The molar tooth will be the size of the mountain of Uhud. Can you imagine how big they are? And the Prophet ﷺ also said that the seat of a person in Jahannam, the seat, the chair that a person in Jahannam will sit on is the size of the distance between Medina and Mecca, which is approximately 500 kilometers. Subhanallah. Can you imagine how big it is? How huge is the distance and how big their bodies will be? Why will Allah make their bodies so big? So that they feel the punishment even more. So that they feel the punishment even more. There's more surface area. There's more to punish. And so the punishment is felt even worse and even more severe. So Ya Khwati, this is what has driven people mad. And this is the punishment and this is the fire of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And you know how severe the fire is? You know how severe the punishment is that even a small amount of Jahannam, a small amount of, of the fire is enough to make your brains boil. We know that Abu Talib will have the least of the punishment, the Prophet's uncle will have the least of punishment, which is a sandal made from fire, but his brains will boil from it. Authentic hadith in Sahih Muslim. Also, we know that, that Jahannam is a place of ambush. We know that Jahannam is a place of, place of ambush that there are hidden creatures in Jahannam that Allah has created to punish the people of Jahannam. Okay? Uh, and that's in Surah, uh, uh, Surah Juz Abba, uh, in, in Surah Naba, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Jahannam is a place of إِنَّهَا كَانَ مِرْصَادَ لِلطَّاغِينَ مَآبَ Verily, إِنَّ جَهَنَّمَ كَانَتْ مِرْصَادَ Verily, Jahannam is a place of ambush. And this, the tafsir of, the, of that verse mentions that there are all these wondrous creatures Allah has created in Jahannam, all made of fire that will pounce upon the people of Jahannam in order to bite upon them. So, Ya khwati, this is Jahannam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you and me from it and our families from it. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, keep us away from it and, and write for us safely from Jahannam today. Oh Allah, make us from those people who are safe from Jahannam.